Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another vlog. Today is sun today's Saturday. Actually, I'm going to head over and help out my friend Chris who is doing a launch event with Bocomofo Cafe. He is the entrepreneur of Pocket Latte and one of his products is launching today and they're going to be hosting like a launch event at Bocomofo Cafe and I agreed to help and volunteer and help out. So I'll be doing that today. It'll be a little bit uh, stressful because I haven't really done like a social event like this in a really, really long time. I'm a little bit nervous, but I've been really, really practicing on uh, managing my boundaries, managing my social levels so that I don't get over stimulated or overly exhausted. I have been trying this new mantra lately. I've tried it this week and so far it's been making like a hell of a difference, but I basically tell myself that I won't let anything get in the way of my happiness, including myself. And that includes not self-sabotaging. I will go to sleep if I'm tired. I will eat if I'm hungry. I don't want to make life difficult for myself. And whenever I'm making decisions, I will always choose the one that makes me happy. So hopefully I can put that into use today. And if I get too tired, I can just dip. I can take a break. You know, I can do whatever I want to do and just have fun. All right, I'm going to be late and it's going to be an hour drive so I'm going to head over really really quick. almost time for bed so chris's event went amazing and i was glad i kind of like went yeah i happened to run into a couple of youtubers as well it was really funny because they <laughs> went up to me and they were like hey do you make videos like are you a vlogger and i was like what do you know me they thought i was doobie doobop which honestly is really flattering because I love her content. Let me know if I have similar vibes to her or not. Yeah, and it just really got me thinking about my whole channel and everything I'm doing um, just outside of working at Webtoon. This has been a question that has been plaguing me for a really, really long time. I think it's time for a change. Like, I think it's time for a social media brand identity change for me and i know i've been drawing a lot of fan art online for a really long time but now i'm starting youtube and obviously i'm making video content of my face and of my life and of things that are beyond just my art and my illustrations i mean i don't want to stop drawing like i will always continue drawing but i 
think that the content I'm making now has transcended beyond just making fan art and just being a fan artist because I think this is the only thing that's holding me back from making more content and sharing different facets of myself because I feel like I'm still shackled to the identity of just being a fan artist and being an artist when in reality I online I am present as many things now I guess I do want to be an influencer to an extent and obviously my swings art pages don't really encompass that so I've really been thinking about how to move on to that next phase of my online presence I guess and what kind of what to put myself forward as. I know whatever decision I make it will be a change and change is scary which is why I am so stressed about it but I know that once I make that change so many doors will open for me and I will just feel so much more comfortable sharing more parts of myself. Yeah, if you guys are watching this and if you guys are along for the journey and following my art account on Instagram and following me here and following me on all the other, all the other social media platforms, thanks so much for your support, by the way. I'm here to help others become their truest self and be honest with themselves and really um, reflect on their own lives and so yeah, I, that's just kind of what I wanted to talk about tonight. I'm getting really tired, so I'm probably going to go to bed soon. Quite a fruitful day. It was a really fun day. And so yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Therapy has been so eye-opening recently. I have been realizing things session after session. I don't know if this is me like reaching like a breakthrough or just finally at that age where I'm really able to process just like everything that has happened in the past, but we talked a lot about limiting beliefs. I never realized this, but like growing up, the phrase that I repeated over and over and over in my head was, I'm a failure. Every time I did anything, it still wasn't enough because inherently I still saw myself as a failure. I'm constantly trying to prove to myself that I'm not a failure by doing the impossible, by achieving perfect and like all of these kinds of things. When in reality, it's just this limiting belief that I've had that has been my driving force for everything. And like, it's time for a change. I can still want things and still chase for things and still want to grow in a way that doesn't inhibit my self-esteem. I want to do things in a way that makes me happy. I want to get healthier in a way that makes me happy. I want to create content in a way that makes me happy. And so creating this YouTube channel has been helping me to kind of realize the multitudes that I can create and that I can give and that I can offer to everyone. I am a producer, I am a writer, and I am somebody that wants to give advice and help other people. I've decided I think I will end up changing my channel name. I'm excited to show like a more encompassing version of myself. I highly encourage you to really think about what your own limiting beliefs are because it keeps you away from how you truly want to live your life. Limiting beliefs came from, you know, traumatic and maladaptive ways of dealing with things that happened in your childhood, but it, it helped you then, but it doesn't mean it's here to stay forever. And you can always change your identity whenever you want, um, just like how I'm changing my social media identity. And you can always find a new way to define yourself, whatever new mantra or um, belief uh, that can power you forward instead of hold you back. So yeah.
a bit of leftovers that I need to finish, so it ruins the illusion, but you know, leftovers are leftovers and they need to be finished. Chinese sausage. Lotus root. Snow peas. And carrot. Hey guys, I guess this is the end of today's video. Uh, a very different video and a very differently paced video, um, that's for sure. Obviously, any changes that I make concerning rebranding my whole entire identity um, from Swing's art to something else will take a bit of time and it's not gonna be something that's happening, um, you know, so soon. But these are definitely things that are on my mind and I'm definitely starting to think long term about the content that I'm creating. So um, I just wanted to be transparent about that. With that, that will be the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed this week's video and definitely more Webtoon related content, more vlogs, more mental health related videos, all those kinds of things will be in the works. In the next video, you are going to see me launch a new webtoon. And this new webtoon is actually very, very, very exciting because I've been keeping it under wraps for a really long time. It is the one that is currently my phone screensaver that I can't show you guys. And so once the video launches, I can finally show you guys what my screensaver is. And so please look forward to that. And uh, I think I'll have a very busy work week. So it'll be a fun video for you guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.